So what spot have you uh, picked out? What's up, everybody? And today we're going to be looking at a turn barreling strategy for the button. And I want to make a point to look at sizing. So the way this is going, uh, the big blind check the flop. We see bet small. He calls. The turn comes. He, big blind checks. And action is on us. Do you guys barrel here? Yes and no, and why? Are we really barreling sea betting small on this flop? Well, if we had a hand like pocket nine, for sure not. But if we're just trying to bet small, I'm sure there's a small portion of this range I want to bet small with a queen because we get mm -hmm. called by worse aces. Yeah. I'm pure checking here. Me too. Checking, huh? Yeah. 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 50-50. Show down. Show down, huh? I agree. Oh, we lost. All right, we see bet range. Are we are we assuming that all the C bets are like um 30%? It's all gonna be two on the flop. Yes. I'm betting large here. You're sizing up, Ken. Why? Do you pick up equity? Well, we could still get, we could start getting 7x to fold, 5x to fold. We had, we did pick up equity. We still have all the best aces in our range. So it uh, doesn't have a ton of showdown. I just think I can get hands. I just think we can get some hands to fold now. A seven um, or a five, right? Uh, yeah, I want to bluff now and not river. I like to get my bluffs through now, honestly. What kind of size are you I, looking for here? I'm going to go like, Seven, what's that? Seven point nine. You got twenty one behind. That's fine. You're going with it, basically. Yeah, I think if we do this, we got to go with the river too. A little Ooh. smaller. A bit smaller. Five. Oh, we got it. Yeah, <clears throat> got him for a better hand. Oh, Jack. I like Jacks. It's better for our age. Turn double barreling. Yeah. I would definitely double barrel here because first off, like favors us and there's no benefit to checking. Let's favors go. Us. Yeah, exactly. Definitely a double barrel here because it's a K card for yeah. CPD. That's yeah, so you get them just to feed folds it for seven. It's really sweet. That's not a good card at all. It's as bad as it gets. It's a seven, so that helps checking. him a lot. It's a spade, so that helps him a lot. Pretty sweet having a spade and an eight. I'd rather have the jack of spades, but I'm still gonna bet. I'm still You're gonna bet. I, I definitely, I definitely want to bet here. I would you think bet. it's that bad. This is a bad card in my book. I'm never betting. I should check raises. I, I check think with the spade. I think with the spade though, we can bet. He's check raising a lot of his almost all of his sixes, and then stuff that wrap around the sixes is going to have a lot of sevens in it, right? Is check raise range. So like um, the sevens, yeah, whatever man. to me. Seven is, sizing I think seven's you good for, go for him. You only got twenty one, so I don't know, maybe five. Yeah, we gotta go five again. I think. Oh, it's never checking. Yeah, I was like, I was wondering why you thought it was such bad. I mean, it may be bad for the range. It's a flush like card, ours. so it's terrible. We, it completes we have a spade, though. His range, and then it's a yeah. seven. But look at his range. Look what he's check raising on the flop. He's check raising his all sixes, right? And then stuff that wrap around the sixes, which is going to be a ton of his sevens. So the seven is kind of irrelevant in my mind. I could oh, be okay, wrong. okay, okay. I can get behind that. That's really good thinking. I think. Well, I could be wrong, so I'd like to say it. No, I'm sure you're right. <laughs> oh, that's really good. No, I think you're right, Ken. Um, like he's check raising his king X. He should be check raising his six X and the cards that wrap around. So like... I think uh, he probably floated you with like hearts or something, some kind of backdoor garbage. The big blind really have any or like a lot of check raising on king high boards. So. <laughs> on paired yeah. boards with the, yeah. with the this... six is paired, he mostly defend by raising. Yeah, this this texture is definitely going to have some raising. So but, he's, uh, got, he's got weak kings now, but uh, I don't know what the fuck to do. I think we want to unload the clip here, Louis. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah I guess so. I What's mean, wrong kings are gonna... with you guys? He has it. We bet twice. You can't fold a king, right? Like, On a torch. There's no pocket pairs. You can't fold a king. I'm all in. He's got ace. I'm... We're targeting like ace high. I think it's we can never play. too late to give up. It's never too late. You got to an eight. Dude, you got to have 15 big blinds. I just give up. In an eight. I think we we this, is such a, this is such a good bluff. This is we, we blocked a bluff. flush. Yeah. We blocked it. What is straight. wrong with you guys? You nits. It's not even close. <laughs> it's not close. You got <laughs> and now blocking spades and a, and a straight. Oh, it's a bad card because of the straight came in and do, do, do. it's just bad. I was talking. Yeah, the straight came in and we blocked oh. the shit out of it. So let's go. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. All, that's what, all right. So I dare this. Turn, I dare this. You think to call with seven X? I dare him. Make it clear to me. Why do you think it's we a got, good uh, We got turn. Jack High. We interact very heavily with the six and the seven and the spades. I mean, it checks a lot of boxes for me. Okay. Because of direct interaction. Yes. Yeah. That, that's, I a, think, that's a great way of explaining it. Direct I think having the eight of spades is what makes me want to bet the turn. And here, what's wrong with you guys? We got eight, <laughs> nine, man. I'm all in. We got a straight. We got eight, nine of spades, even better. We got a flush. I'm all in. We got eight, nine of spades. I see, I see. I see what we're doing. Oh my God, we're still getting jack four off jokes. And he's got, he's calling. He's probably floating queen highs to some extent. He's got some all right. highs. But actually jack four well, off in this position might, might actually be an all in too. Can we see the big blinds turn range? Because I just want to see if he is lacking all the sevens. Like, hey, I would say this though, Louis. You, if you don't have the spade here, um, you probably do hard give up on that turn. Okay. I'm yeah, gonna... I think the I think it's the eight of spades that lets us. So where's the sevens? Like, yeah, see, he has no sevens, right, when he gets to the turn. Yeah, just say seven, king seven. You... And he has no, where are his sixes? He's got no sixes, right? I, I really sixes. like your reasoning here, Ken. Yeah, and hardly any kings, honestly. That's pretty good. And then look, at our, look at our range on the turn. Need a spade, right? Need yeah, a spade. Having the spade. So the driving factor is the spade for all the bluffs. I think so. And the eight to a lesser degree. Because I think that just having both of those in conjunction is just kind of like it prefers the nine. Slam dunk. Does it prefer the nine? Yeah. Yes. And the ten even more. Yeah, to me, more it was that the eight was a spade, not. Not necessarily. Okay. That it was the eight. Because we did pick up equity. If they don't have any spades, now we got outs on the river. Yeah, if a river if a river spade rolls off, it wants to have a bigger, bigger spade. All right. Nice land to look at, I think. That was a good one. All in, ship the cookies. Well, let's look at the river now. Do we bluff everything? Or is it just the perfect one? Oh, no, we are pretty heavy here. <laughs> <laughs> you ready, bud? <laughs> I'm nuts. I didn't see what he asked. He, he had the nuts. Flush. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Now it's our turn. Straight. Spade, I'm less inclined to want to bet here, but... You can. I'm a, with you on this, but it seems like you're wrong. We got a straight. So. We have a straight. straight, man. You got to go. party. I think we, a have party a man. we have a straight and 20 big blinds. There Let's get it in bad. Yeah. <laughs> what size are you guys going to go for here? Man, I was 5.2. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, but, I was 5. Uh, 3.1 sounds like we're giving them too big of a price to float all the single spade hands. 5.2 looks good to me, man. I like 5.2. Yeah. Say we have the flush here. What kind of size do we go for? 5.2. And then yeah. 
Say you have uh, the straight. You want to go five point two? I thought I did. I think so. Okay, and then I mean, I, well, you have a look, stand here. What's Louis, that? Louis, I did see the answer when you clicked, but I probably wouldn't went. I would have went five point two. That's the answer. If you have a stand, what do you do? I think I'm just going to be like standardizing my bed size at five point two here, typically. Yeah, yeah five point two is not good here. I click too fast. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm still in Camp Galen there. I'm this. I've I was had the same thought process. Five point two. I, mean, I saw the answer. I'm not going to change my answer because I saw it. What is the answer? It goes smaller, so it's mixing that three. Oh well, number. there 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 is five point two is a part of the strategy. So twenty percent five point two, thirty five percent three. So a hand like a ten here is betting three, unless you have the spade. Mm. I guess on this texture, like aces and kings and queens aren't that strong. So we have to have mixing small bets with. Aces is betting two, unless, or checking, unless it has the spade. If it has yeah. a spade, it sizes up. So. Once the spade comes in, you really want to have a spade. Otherwise you can't bet big. We have unless some very high equity hands and then some low equity hands is why we got to split the range. Yeah, you oh, have to block block his value here. What was our hand? Jack nine off? Yep. Jack Look nine that. knows. Jack nine? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Jack nine. Yeah, Jack nine knows spade. Oh, we're going to bet it, small given we don't have a spade. Well, well it's it still mixes five in with some, even well, at some portion. In general, you see the pattern, right? Most yeah, it, it's more often with the spade, but still... Why is King-10 twice as valuable as aces? Uh, King-10 suited. Are they just spades? Yeah, the spade uh, is spade the flush. Is... We have it in higher frequency, probably. Yeah, it's the flush. That, can we look at the EV? Is that the EV we're looking at? What are those numbers? The 10 point? Yeah, that's EV, 10.6. So, yeah, like the single pair of hands without redraws aren't very valuable. So, they got to go in the small bet bucket. But here, if you look at the hand like King Jack, the, the flush is going small. Mm hmm. But uh, the other ones are going big. Well, oh. they're bluffs. I oh, know, seven, eight, yeah, they're bluffs. These range, splitting ranges is hard as fuck, man. Well, it's funny. You see how it polarized between <sighs> trash. So this is the trash. Yes. Trash is going big or small, but trash is using the small, the big size the most, and that best hands as well. Hmm. It's a three bet here, and if we add a spade, we size up. No. Yeah, stick it. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, the, yeah, there's good, There's not going to be a lot of good rivers here, but we want to keep his bluffs in. Yeah, I, was yeah I, would not, I would not go all in here. I mean, I would not fold, but... Mm -hmm. Okay. Got him. You have a blue. <laughs> hey, he's got a good hand of bluff. Yeah. Do we double barrel here? Uh, I think I like checking. I think I like checking too. Like, okay, yeah. so if the pattern we saw earlier are still good, we have a, mm -hmm. the flush completed, but, we have a spade, we have top pair, so we could size up. I don't think this hand wants no, to oh, not it's, not this hand. And, and we're we got a yeah, we're in a much different hand class here, right? We have like a naked top pair and the board tilted towards straights and flushes like i you might bet here i'm not going to say you don't but i i like playing check here i think okay. the jack is a good range card for us it's gonna bet and then it's only betting three it's yeah not... if it was a low card i, I we're definitely betting if you want to put like a i think if you put like a five a 
seven and eight, stuff like that, we're going to probably barrel. Okay. Yeah, the, I think the I mean, jack is just there. The jack is just too good for our range. And I agree. Like, you put a smaller card on there that's not a range card, it's going to check a lot more. Do we put in a, another bet here? or? So it went check, check, turn. I think we do bet now. Yeah. Um, and I, I like maybe six. You don't want to go too small because you don't want to incentivize check raising. Yeah. Or checks, but six is reasonable too. Six is good. Mm -hmm. Pair board. We bet he calls. We still double barrel, I think. I think we bet small. We beat, yeah. we beat all of his ace X here. Like, because our king plays, I definitely think we barrel. We're blocking the straight, so, I mean. What kind of sizing? I just feel like our range could put a lot of pressure on him, even with a small bet. That's why I'm thinking small. Yeah, pair board. So 1.9 and 3.15. I would go 3.15 or 5 point whatever. It is 5 going five two. or check. It is going big again. Interesting. Check oh. that back. Yeah, this this kind of. I, I think we can we can check this. I'm checking back. We can. I mean, I'm sure Solver Special goes for it sometimes. But, you might uh, bet here sure because you have the king. I like yeah. you might bet. You might bet because you have the king. I need a spade. I, I need a spade to bet. If I have one spade, if a king or an ace is a spade, I'm definitely betting without a spade. I'm checking back. Check if we bet with the king of spades in this combo. No. Uh, we could. Yeah. We can't bet is... without the spade. You need to block value. Okay. Yeah. Oh. The fold. The house. It's a full house. I'm out there trying to value bet my top pair ten, and they just have the full house. Yeah, this uh, this spot. Um, Five. Ugh. We didn't get check raised, so he floats a lot of pairs and aces, so we can go for value here. Yeah, he doesn't have pocket uh, pairs. We block some of his fives. He's just got. A, I don't know what he's got here, honestly. Five. Uh, if we if we bet, I kind of want to go five, but I don't know, man. Like, yeah, I think five. Paired, I think five. Paired board, I'm gonna go three. Three's not a bad idea either. It's, it's, I like yeah. five. Three and five. Mostly five. Five. Mm, we have a marginal made now, but. The 10 is very valuable in this this shift here. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see some small bets, but uh, this is going to be, this should be a primary check, I would guess. Yeah, you know, again, I think I do like a smaller bet better now. We have a kind of like a small bet, a small bet to check river sometimes here. I would I size up here because the king is a key card for in position. Our range yeah. won't be better. Exactly. It's positionally, uh, yeah. I mean, it's it's definitely attractive for a range. We're not playing the pair of jacks anymore. Our range just want to bet this king big, mm -hmm. right? I think we're still betting for value for sure with the jack. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if jack ten off with no spade checks here though. Yeah. Our range wants to double barrel, but we do have a small small frequency. Small size is a big part of the this strategy. So having the spade is the driving factor with the big size. Yeah. yeah. Right. No spade can, drives it down. That makes good sense to me, I think. Uh, so we have our best unpaired hand. The five is like a pretty bricky card. I think we're going to do a lot of checking here. I'm still going to want to put pressure on there. Uh, I mean, what do we put pressure on? They yeah. have to bend every I, pair on the flop. I mean, I'm betting again. I would check here. I'm I'm checking here. We kind of have a draw that is going to struggle against the raise. And we win against show at showdown if he has like Queen 10. We beat. Uh -huh. 
all of his kings. Is it? Three, three. Check. Okay. <coughs> After Ooh. this line, I think well, we he has check, a lot check. of jack kicks in his range. Because if he had the after it goes check check on the turn, I think he's supposed to block bet a lot with all of his top pairs. So I think we could value bet the queen here for six. I mean, we do so, yeah. yeah, exactly. Uh, no, he got us. burns us. Two pairs. Pair. Did he? Yeah. Yeah, he had, he had oh, flopped jacks and fours. I own myself again. Jesus. Robbie, Robbie Lou. <laughs> so Jesus Christ. Okay, so I'll, we have a spade, so we can size up here. Yeah. Five big blinds. Yeah. Is that right? Yep. Five. Boom. We got the patterns. We're, we're learning. Look at us. He didn't, check. he didn't check raise jacks Wait. last time, so I'm a little nervous here. This is a check, man. That's the oh, yeah, a good double flush. Up. Yeah, double flush draw board is going to polarize it, so it's going to be really I'm big or check. Here. I'm going like pot here. Pot? Why pot? Yeah. Why you it's easy, man. Like both of both of the flush draws brick, all of the draws brick, and you have now made like he's he's got a lot of bluff catchers here. I and see. We have, like, You're gonna do went, that with your favorite seven six of spade. Right? It went over that pot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Work with your bluffs. Fourteen five. It went. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. I see. I see. You can even so you can like, even do a, a a Louis exploit and stuff the turkey. Yep. Look at that, yep. You could go really bananas here. Uh, you go small here or five point two. Like you keep oh, going, turn. you don't. You don't need to go too crazy. Polarize. Polarize. We bet very small on the flop. We polarize here on the turn. That's the turkey. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah, we're all in. I mean, there's just nothing else to do there. Don't lose all the money. <laughs> Got All right, now I want to keep some time for hand reviews. You guys got hands you want to review, hands you're not sure of? Yes. I have one to show right away. Because, yeah. <laughs> I like it when Louis laughs. Uh, you wanted me to run that? Is that why you said it? Uh, no, I, I, hey, I actually did run this. This is, okay. um, this is too wide. Okay, so. How can I show it without showing the results? It's too late. Right? Uh, final oh, table. You know what happened. So yeah, it's too late. Daily <laughs> big twenty. There's four players left. I opened the button. Two big blinds from a twenty-seven big blind stack. My opponent is a lose aggressive, super regular, lots of winnings, good player. Walter Wine goes all in. <laughs> For it's 30 big blind. The action is back on me, and I have ace 10 suited. And that's a short stack at oh. the table, right? Yeah, there's an eight big blind here. Oh, this is final yeah. table. This is final table. So if you've run the hand before, don't say anything. But what do you guys I'm think? Not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you. I guess you think it's good, but I guess you have to still be tight because of eight point four. But then you don't have as much pressure because it's four players left. I think it's you kind of still do. I so you, I just know because you guys said the answer. I mean, it's suited. It's close. What do you mean? We said the answer. No one said the answer. Yet. I gave an opinion. So <laughs> hey, here's the way I saw it. I, I, I saw that it's button versus big blind first. Second, with the short stack here, I'm supposed to make very big folds and he knows it. Yeah. Okay? So it's a, I know that he knows, he that knows. I know kind of thing, right? But then and the then, end is you can't do nothing about it. And then 
he, he's supposed is he not supposed to rip all of his absolute aces? Ace do off, ace three off, ace four off, ace five off, ace six off, ace seven off, ace eight off. Bring it. I don't know. Is he not supposed to rip that? I don't know. I, I don't can know. tell. I can tell if you're asking, I'll tell you the answers. That no, no, I, no, no. I, I'm asking everyone else. Like what they okay. Do. And then is he not supposed to rip pocket deuce, pocket three, pocket four, pocket five, pocket six, pocket seven? Like I think it works off suit aces. So much are pressure here on me because of that. I think, still, I think he's ripping like ace five off and then skipping all the crap in the middle and then jumping up to ace nine off, probably. So all of this said now. What do you guys think about this? Or three 30 big blind mm -hmm. stack. There's one very short stack. Is this a call or I mean, I think it's called. No, I think it's a fold. I don't want to gamble. Mean, how about this? Yeah. If how about this? If you think it's a fold, what is the worst hand you call with? I think Ace Jack suited. Uh, ace Jack suited. Ace Queen off. And yeah. like t tens, tens plus nines plus. Mm. Not even. Yeah, good. there's there's it's kind of three people who are pretty equa stacked here, eh? And one yeah, short, it's like a three-way like, tie. It's a three-way tie for first, essentially, right? You just you don't want you don't want to flip in this spot. So I think I am folding, and I'm gonna run ace queen here. I also don't think I'm jamming fives. What are you jamming, Pete? Uh, I am going to want to be ahead of the ace five. Um, so I'm going to probably jam sevens or eights from his spot. I want to be ahead more often. This might be one of those spots, Peter, where sixes and fives might be better than seven and eights before blocking the bomb. Okay, the question, open. guys. Question. Ace Jack suited. I'm what calling Ace Jack suited. Calling. Hold. What do we do with Jacks? Call. 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 Mm -hmm. Tens. Call yeah. nines. I'm out. Uh, Call. I don't like nines. I mean, I think we. Sh I don't. I think nines. I don't want to. We don't need. We don't need to do with nines anymore. Nine nine. Nine. I call with nines. Yeah. I don't even know. I call with nines. But it's four-handed. It's getting close. Hey, on the chart. I'm out. On the chart that you have now, I'm kind of on the fence about ace jack suited, king queen suited, and nines. Yeah, I'm not Whoa. going. Queen suited. Queen suited, get that out of there. <laughs> yeah, it's an arrow. How'd you, you, how you slip it. that one in there, you loose maniac? <laughs> <laughs> Ace Jack off is a definite fold, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ace then suited? No. Uh, primary primary fold. I, I, I Everyone is folding here that Ace then suited. I'm 50 50 with Ace 10 suited. I'm not sure about Ace Jack suited. Yeah, I agree. I, I'm ace queen here because like you just don't want to flip. This is this is a terrible spot to flip and lose. Got too much gamble in me. So there's some goofy stuff going on here. Like there's a there's a caveat that we need to address first if before we get to the answer. And I think Louie has it in his in our chat log. Yeah. But um I ran this and Walter Wine is over aggressing here, not adjusting appropriately. He's mm -hmm. not supposed to be jamming that region of hands. Um, in fact, like yeah. he doesn't jam terribly too much. He's got some polar combos here. So like the offsuit trashy stuff, whoever said that, and then some of the suited high low stuff. And then like he's, he's protecting with ace king and queens, but notice um, no pairs really in there in that region. And um, what this did was for our response, I think ace jack, I, I didn't post the response here, but it was ace jack was the floor. Um, ace jack suited was the floor of the calling range. And then it was just ace king offsuit. Like it didn't want to call any of the offsuit stuff. And it, I think it called like nines plus or something. Like it went kind of wide with the pairs. I don't so remember. After looking yes. at the primary solution, we added a few small pairs to yeah. fit so our I, strategy. Hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I gave him the polar pairs yeah. just to make it somewhat realistic and not draw too many extra conclusions. And it sure. made us 
tighter and wider in some aspects. Um, made us tighter in calling the top end of our range, but quite a bit wider with our pairs when he does this. So yeah, all the pairs that dominate his pairs went way up in value, and then our unmade hand yes. went down in value. And uh, like I was saying, the it was calling ace queen ace jack before, and now it's like it's almost two pips tighter here when he's oh, jamming these little pairs. That's interesting. I thought it was interesting too, and I think it just is kind of this idea of you're a three way tie for first place, and you really don't want to be flipping here very frequently. Like it's just you, you don't want to put yourself in those. Yeah, shoes. if you balance out those small pairs with a few more aces in his range, it's going to start calling the ace queen there. Yeah, I thought about that, and um, I, 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 if I would have been more motivated yesterday afternoon, I might have added some of that and looked at it. But yeah, I, I would say that's a, a good hypothesis. I love I how agree. the push fold call it always it always depends on their range. So it's not really what is the answer, it's what is their actual eat up. Well, and that's you're right. And that's the importance of uh being able to, you know, build character profiles or player profiles to some degree of accuracy. And you well, know, Louis. I made this a hard one because I thought it was close, but I thought it was uh, because of the reasons I mentioned. I thought it was a good call. Um, way off, and then well, Walter Wine. Look at his emoji game. He's like <laughs> so confusing. He he was upset. What are you doing, man? The thing is, he and made, he's like you suck. He made a pretty mistake like, to you though, right? Like, like if you're, oh my god, you. He, and then he's he so a, unhappy. He's like you suck. Yeah. Right at the wall. Didn't he make a bigger mistake than you though? <laughs> I would uh I would say Ken um over over aggressing is not gonna be a call gonna be less terrible. yeah no but I was gonna say gonna over aggressing is more of a less a mistake than over calling. But if we're thinking about what ranges we're supposed to be jamming here and what ranges we're supposed to be calling, if he's jamming appropriately, ace 10 becomes close to a call. But he jammed way too wide. Now ace 10 isn't a call, but if we're thinking about what we should be doing. Now he's got to run fives against. Now we're calling wider. Like he's forcing us to call wider than we should, right? But then our hands that we're calling with are going to have good equity against his small pairs. Because now we're calling wider than we should. I think so the that idea makes his hand less valuable, right? Neither neither person here wants to necessarily click the call button and run equity. You just exactly. don't want to do that. Exactly. Especially with like a five to 10% deviation and who wins this. Yeah. I mean, that's a coin flip. And there's a three-way tie for first place in a short stack. So every chip that Louis or Walter Wine invest here is um, pretty valuable at this point, right? Like it's the difference between fourth and first place money in, in, in a lot of instances. Right. So, you know, so did you win it, I, I think? think. Yes. No, I took second. 